Okay. So last class we are seeing about uh, manufacturing of composite material. But after that, the every material goes to the fracture stage because the material have a failure. Uh, cause it's have loaded with a continuous load or repeated load. So today we are going seeing about the fracture and failure of composites. They give a lot of types and a lot of impact in the material. So composite materials also have a fractures and fa failure impact. So today we are see about the types of uh, fractures and failures. So failure of composite is unlike metal, a complex multi-stage process. So material is a uh, Meti uh, normal metals is easily corroded in the layer, layer by layer because it's a solid product. But uh, composite material is a uh, co com combination of combination of multi-layer product. Product. Okay, it's a single metal. It's a solid, um, solid material. So it's easily affected in the surface of the material into the core of material, like metals and sera. And some aluminium alloys like that, but composite material is a layer by layer uh, component. So just the first play play of uh, composite material is affected by some load or any environmental issue, and it's affected fully. And another layer is affected by that issue. So we have we have one positive to reduce the uh, effect effect of uh, other environmental issue. So failure of composite sample may get triggered in a certain mode but its propagation and final failure modes are way may, may be significantly different so it, in uh, in normal metals the final uh, propagation and final failure mode is same because the same mater material it's a bulk material but in this case composite material have a different uh, mode of failures but the propagation of failure is different and the final of uh, Ultimate fracture is different. Reason that's why reason is a uh, layers of composites. We are using two or more, two, uh, three or more composites are using layers are using in the composite materials. Here we explore different failure mechanism of composites. First at play level and subsequently and laminate at laminate level. So play level is here. First uh, top of the surface level is known as a play level. And subsequently, at laminate level, if you have a three layer of composite level material, it's your one play level and two two laminate level. That uh, alternatively, we using your four layer. It's a have one play level and two uh, laminate three laminate level level. So we explore the different types, different failure mechanism. Okay. So what is the main reason of uh, affecting uh, composite material? So first is shock. Shock is uh, produced by a high high max speed. Like uh, we are go we are go fly the flight is going to the above three mac or four mac. The shock is produced by a wave drag. The shock waves gives a more tension and stress in the material. So the shock wave affect the material and uh, propagate the crack or any damages in the composite material. Impact. So some impact like uh, any bulk material, any forces impact in the one single point of a composite material. This impact and uh, bend the material or uh, propagate the crack of a material or repeated cyclic stress or load. Like uh, if you give uh, any repeated stress or uh, any load in that the same point of a material, it's easily uh, bended or uh, propagate the crack in day by day can provoke the laminate of separate in the interface of between two layer a condition known as delamination so if we give the continued load or any impact shock in the composite material it's easily break the uh, connection of two connection of two lamination lamination of composite material so it's known as a delamination delamination is a is a mode of failure where a material failure into layer so if the composite material is made up of uh, several layers, like multi layers. So the the name is delamination. It's a lamination of materials uh, separated in due to the 
shock or any impact load loads so composites can fail on the macroscopy or microscopy level so the definitely composites start to the fail failure in a microscopic level we are not able to see the small uh, micro level uh, micro level cracks so we are using some methods to see the cracks like using some fem, uh, finite element methods and some uh, microscopic level tools are using the to find out the cracks like using some ndt methods also so the macroscopic level of uh, crack is easily easily findable and uh, reducible also so compression failure can compression failures can happen at both the macro scale or at each individual reinforcing fiber compression pathway so in this scenario the compression load is uh, give to the some portion of composite material it can break the macro level of structure or the every each piece of fiber fiber structure okay so the every single fiber is uh, propagate to the crack and uh, go to the fracture level so total material is failure it's called as ultimate material so which another one is a tension failure can be net section failures of pot or degradation of composite at microscopic scale where uh, one or more the layers in the composite fail in tension matrix failure of the bond between matrix and fibers so we are using any tension like a pull pull force in uh, pulling force of any composite materials is continuously repeatedly gives a pulling force of that composite material so the microscopic level of fibers is to propagate the crack and uh, it start to the damage the it's it's uh, the crack will be grow and uh, it's finally go to the damage or uh, breakage level so tension failure is a, a very important failure because it start to the microscopic level some composites are brittle and possess little reserve strength beyond the initial onset failure while other may have large deformation have reserve energy absorbing capacity past on onset limit so you know about that some composite uh, have a brittle brittleness so this brittleness is uh, create a crack of material like a like a metal metal characteristics so the failure of a brittle ceramic mat matrix composite occurred when the carbon carbon composites tail on the leading edge so in this scenario it's a very important scenario because in february 2003 uh, 1 february 1 so the columbia space shuttle of uh, enter to the earth atmosphere that time the failure of brittle failure of ceramic matrix so in this uh, space shuttle using carbon carbon composite tile so this failure uh, propagate the crack and uh, after this failure it, it's easily get a fire and blasted that so it directed the catastrophic breakup of the vehicle when it re entered the air that atmosphere so many astronauts die in this in this in this accident failure of unidirectional layers so in many composite samples before the failure occurs at macroscopic layer scale the material response changes significantly this change in materials response which precedes actual material failure is a manifestation of large number of micro fa failures as well as non linear material behavior so unidirectional uh, we are using uh, a unidirectional or a flake type of uh, fabrics uh, fiber fabrics for manufacturing of uh, composite material in the unidirectional uh, directional fibers matrix are uh, using the some ceramic material that ceramic if, if give any point load or any impact of the material the damage is continuously affect the one by one layer in uh, in unidirectional and uniformly so the pressure will spread in every area and affected by all layers so this is a, so that's why that is called unidirectional failure so okay in a okay outline of this lecture we are see about uh, strength failure mechanism fractography graphy failure criteria fracture of mechanics okay the first one is strength 
the strength of material is a main major point of major point of uh, uh, fa failure of material because strength stress at failure so what is strength stre stress at failure strength measure how much stress can be applied to an element before it deforms permanently so if you if you give any stress stre stress into the own material so the material have a deformation here particular load it's a minimum load of uh, load of st stress value that value is called as a strength stress value so if failure is defined as occur occurring on the when the energy stored by a given mechanism exceeds the critical value so you, you put a only critical value that material is start to the crack or any fracture the, that value is the strength stress value of the material so the failure may be occur on a yielding in metals so what is yield stress so apply the minimum stress at which a solid will undergo the permanent deformation or a plastic flow so some material you you put a uh, uh, minimum value of the uh, stress on the based on the material the composite material totally undergo the any crack or any damage or uh, it go it goes to the any plastic stage like a, like some heated plastic stage or a movable plastic stage so yield stress stress also create the crack non recoverable loss of elastic response so affected by this stress, stress yielding stress it's it's non recoverable because it's affected by the it's a one way direction it's not recoverable and it's uh, uh, lost the elastic characters of the composite material so so if you if you give the uh, strength strength of the material so it's first play failure first play is a surface area of the composite material it's a first layer of composite material so first play is play is easily failure in the first like uh, the strength so ultimate failure so after continuous load or repeated load the overall it's totally Uh, the material was break breaked broken so ultimate failure is called as a breaking of a material so it's dif simply defined as a breaking of a material one material have a several different strengths so in this scenario the one one material have several several different strengths because because of the layers of uh, material of in composites so we failure mechanics is separated in many types like matrix cracking fiber fracture debonding interface failure de elimination de lamination interlayer failure fiber pull out micro buckling kink bands cone of fracture so this topics are also explain the meaning of the failure but we will see about the explanation of the explanation of the failure the first one is uh, matrix cracking so is a major pattern of the failure of composite material a crack can form the matrix during manufacturing or being produced during loading so this this crack is propagate uh, mainly man during manufacturing time because uh, some technical issue or human error or sometimes we are uh, careless care, unfortunately carelessly uh, miss the some some material mixing so it start to the matrix cracking in an, another time if you give a load in uh, continuously that time the matrix will propagate to the crack so it is a ma major problem of uh, material because it, this matrix crack cracking uh, undergoes to the big crack and it's it, it's gives up it goes to the ultimate failure also so matrix cracking maximum okay it's a strain value of uh, in, in every material so polyester resin you have a 0.9 to 4.0 vinyl ester equal to 1.0 to 4.0 epoxy resin 1.0 to 3.5 phenolic resin 0.5 to 1.0 so in this data collected by hand nl handcos fiber composite hybrid okay materials lc over 90 it's a reference book of this data so another one method is uh, fiber fracture fracture is the main damage mode in laminates 
subjected to tensile and compressive cycle compressive cycling if you give a any tensile or compressing load in the cyclic process in the full fracture of a single layer of a fiber so in fiber layer is uh, made up of multi fiber thin threads okay it is a one of thread of a fiber layer so every fiber layer give a continuous uh, tensile load or any compressive load it's propagate the crack and finally it's uh, like a brittle material it's give a ultimate failure and it's uh, crack uh, crack to the two pieces so it's a main damage mode it's it's easily uh, goes to the ultimate failure state so some important uh, important composites uh, failure fiber fracture failure level sr glass what is sr glass sr glass is a strength tensile composite glass okay s means strength strength r means uh, tensile glass composites glass so that's value 4.6 to 5.2 and another one is e glass e glass means synthetic composite reinforcement the e glass made up of synthetic composite reinforcement so that's value 3.37 kevlar you know about kevlar composites are the kevlar 49 that's value 2.5 kevlar is a highly re heat resistant and impact resistant uh, material so nowadays some smartphones also using kevlar material for for the impact resistant characteristic of this com composite material so another one is hs carbon that's e value equal is 1 1.12 hs carbons means high modulus carbon so it's have high modulus uh, rigidity or level and another one uhm carbon that's value 0.38 uhm means carbon unidirectional um, composite material so in this material use the unidirectional carbon layer so that's called as a uhm this data is collected from nl hankos fiber composite hybrid books okay if you if you need this just screenshot this book name okay so next point is a debonding debonding is a another type of interface or interface failure which is often classified as interfiber failure it is simply attributed to the nature of the bond between fiber and matrix so one fiber layer and matrix resin are uh, combined with one to each other it gives a correct good bonding of their chemical properties the chemical properties of a matrix and fiber it's co combined to one to each other but in this scenario in the bonding will be breaked break for some some impact or any load so it's called debonding the bonding will be break the layer of material uh, the layer of fiber material in the matrix is uh, debonded onto each other so crack can run through or around the fiber so easily the crack will run through the around the fiber so nv 12000 carbon or plus fiber is easily affected by this Uh, problem so look at this picture this is the deep bonding so is the skin of a composite material is the main form of uh, matrix of a composite material so it's propagate the deep bonding you look see that this is a deep bonding of problem of this material so delamination so lamination means uh, co connection of uh, two or more layers that means combination uh, la uh, lamination that means lamination lamination means connection of two or more layer in this scenario uh, it's a critical failure mode of fiber reinforced composites because we are using multiple layer of fiber fiber layer reinforced composites in in our required need for a uh, uh, density of strength so we are using three or more layer of uh, rain fiber uh, layer that time affected delamination of uh, any some compressive load may maximum this problem is uh, created by compressive load if you give any compressive load of the plate of composite material the lamination layer is easily uh, delaminated by that force okay this is a la connected lamination is a delamination problem occur occur in this material so 
the layer is uh, separated by this force so in, we are calling one layer is a lamina several layer is composite is called as a laminate separation of the laminate layers is a dominant is a single simple definition of the problem separation of the layer is delamination to avoid delamination using 3d 3d reinforcement or set spinning use uh, set spinning method and another one is fiber pull out is one of the failure mechanism in fiber reinforced composite material other form of failure include delamination interlamina matrix cracking longitudinal matrix splitting fiber matrix debonding or fiber fracture so in this picture you can see the picture it's a fiber layers in the every single fiber layers it's easily pull out by some loader after pull outing the matrix layer is collapsed collapsed so st stress applied in that place of uh, matrix it's easily propagate the crack or any damage so fiber pull out is a uh, failure of composite it's not a crack of composite it's a no about failure of composite as parts of fractured composite separate so what is affect uh, so some affection of this problem as parts of your fractured composite separate the fibers which you have debonded can fracture remote from principal fracture plane energy is absorbed by frictional forces the fiber is pulled from the opposite face debonding and pull out absorbed high energies and uh, results in the tough, tough material so mainly tough materials are affected by this method and another one is micro buckling micro buckling the buckling of fiber involving transverse displacement under compression in the direction of the fiber so in this scenario it's mainly affected by compression load in bending test failure occurs due to poor fiber matrix adhesion and combination with uh, the stress concentration at loading roller so take the one if, imagine that the one composite material we apply the compressive load in uh, both ends uh, like you give the component the center of the uh, composite material is it propagate the buckling stress so it propagate the crack at the microscopic level and it is actually break through break through the one to each other in bending stress a failure occurs due to poor fiber so if using any poor fiber matrix it's easily affected kink band so the structures common in the deformation of solid with uh, well developed and mechanically effective plan of foliation so this method is also affected by compressive load using any comp compressive load in a uh, so surface area of uh, any composite material to so both ends it's bended in a, a like a king bend okay, okay it's like it's like a l shape bend it's a uh, it's occurred by uh, composite uh, sorry compression load so due to the compression load the surface area of uh, composite material bended like a l shape bend so it's uh, it's deform the shape of a composite material so it's easily uh, reduce the efficiency of efficiency of the material or any vehicle like that cone of fracture so you know about that cup and cone of fracture and it's mainly affected the single thread layer of a com composite uh, fiber matrix so in is a cup and cone fracture uh, is a type of failure observed with the ductile metals and plastic state metal maximum in this is affected for a cup tactile or a plastic state materials subject to a uniaxial force it is essentially the separation of a body into separate piece due to the application of excessive tensile load so it's mainly affected the excessive tensile load if you give the ten excessive tensile load at the both ends to pull the layer of composite material the single layer of composite material so if it it it's have any ductile brittle uh, ductile property it's uh, pull out the like a plastic stage and uh, but it's have a ductility so it's pull out like a cup and cone uh, separation of part like that this is a cup fracture of surface it's a cone fracture of surface
So, how to find the impact in a microscopic level of composite material? So, we are using a finite element method for uh, analyzing and uh, find the impact of the composite material. So, it's a mainly finite elements method. It's a complicated method. It's a maximum it's using for mathematical uh, derivations and uh, el element of some analyzing. So, the two main techniques for solving by the FEM are implicit method and explicit method. So, it's a, it's a separate subject. So, it's just, you know about the, the just uh, headings. It's developed by implicit methods and explicit methods. So, impact, impact on laminate. So, if you give the one uh, sudden impact of the laminate, so how to find the impact on laminate? That's it. Give the uh, sudden impact on the laminate. We are using impactor for uh, the composite materials uh, affected by some load. So it's a dynamic response is easily analyzed by finite element analysis. So we have a, some softwares for that. So involving large deformation. So using some impactor, it's for a research procedure. Using impactor and it's a composite plate, laminate plate. You give a uh, sudden impact force on that com uh, composite material in the usage of some uh, FIA software like a finite element analysis software. It's analyze the impact level and the load level, fair failure level in the easily. So it used to solve the problem of the material. So it's some picture explanation of the final element analysis. So it's a fiber tensile damage, is fiber compressive damage, is matrix com compressive damage, matrix tensile damage. So if you are using any some analyzing software like open form or ANSYS for this problem, you can get a result like that. So the density of a crack, crack value, fracture value, fracture value. So another one is uh, fractography. So it's one of the finding method of uh, impacts. Fractography is a method in failure analysis for studying the fracture surface of material. So in this method only for using the surface of the material. It's not uh, used for uh, in-depth of material. So mainly we are using uh, NDT or something, another methods for uh, analyzing the uh, in-depth of material crack. Uh, for for surface cracks using fractography and fracture mechanics. Fracture mechanics is analysis flaw of discover flaws to discover those are the safe and those are reliable propagate the cracks. So in this method we are not uh, we are uh, not able to propagate any cracks it's a safe manner method. So it's used to, to discover the flaw or any main impact of the surface of the material. So this is a fracture mechanics. So it's a plastic zone of material. It's a fracture propagation. We are increasing the load and displacement of a plastic level. So after the ex extensive load, the, f the material fully undergo to the plastic level. So it propagate the crack and the crack will propagate the material damage. So it's called the ultimate failure on that final stage. So today class is over. It's a simple, small topic because it's a just a type of fractures only. So tomorrow we will you uh, study about uh, some methods like NDT or any ultrasonic method for finding the fracture and solve the fractures. Okay. You have any doubt? No, sir. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Sir.